So, Driven by Moss 9.0 is out. It's not fully out for Bitwig because it's in beta state, because also Bitwig 3.2, which is required for this version, is also still in beta. So, I will finalize that when also Bitwig 3.2 will be finalized. But since many people are already using 3.1 beta 5, as it would have been released because it's so stable and has cool new features, I thought I'd give you an introduction as well for the new features of Driven by Moss 9.0. There's mainly stuff for the APC 40 and for the Launchpad series, but also two cool new features which apply to all of the support devices, also on the push and the generic flexi and all that stuff. And the first of these features is one that everybody has been waiting for, that you can finally hide deactivated tracks. And if you see, I have here three deactivated tracks tracks and this happens quite often if you for example use external gear and have a midi track and record it on an audio track and after you're done you want to hide away the midi track so you can do that now and this feature can be found here in a workflow section and it says exclude deactivated items and if you turn it on bang they are gone and you are left with the two activated tracks yeah, uh, selecting the first one, which contains here a drum machine plugin, you see the drum machine has now this little icon up there. And if you activate it, it means that you can select here the pads also via MIDI. So let's go here to the drum sequencer. And if I press now select the pad, it will also follow here the selection. And this can also be triggered by an external different device. For example, here, if I press here the keys on my complete control, it follows also here nicely the selection. Talking about a launch pad, the launch pad has also several new features. So first one, if you switch here to the volume mode, here you see on the scenes there is a volume as well here for the for the master track. So select that. You can change here the master, and these have now also these four different dates. So you can also change more detailed. Sadly, the scene buttons don't support velocity, so it's always changed immediately if you press it. By doing so. I noticed that if you go to panorama here was not the support for the panorama of the master track so this is now here as well so you can also use now these scene buttons here to change the volume on the master track as well so and something really cool if you use here the shift button which here on the mark 2 is emulated by the mixer button and press the session button and there is this cool new mode now which i call the mix mode which gives you all those different little session modes on one page the lowest row gives you the information about the selection state so here we have now the feature that we can enable here the drum machine and we also can enable here the recording so the first row is for recording the second one is for soloing so you see which of your tracks are soloed this is mute so it goes off if you mute the track this is for stopping the clip here there's also another new feature which is also available in a normal session view of the stop clips below here so if you press it now it turns red so you get an idea which one you actually pressed and before that you didn't see any difference because it was lit the same if you pressed or not so moving up i have here volume mute the send one and the send two which can then be edited if you select it with this uh, scene fader to change a track you can simply click anywhere in those four fields and by doing so the one you pressed is then available for editing so for example if you press here the first one you select the second track here for volume editing so you can change here the volume if you go here you can change the panorama if you go here you can change the send one and if you go here you can change the second send which we don't have so let's create here a second send so now we can go to the second sand and also change the volume on that so you can basically edit everything at once here in this view change volume panorama your sand effect settings stop clips solo mute all that stuff so this is really nice for improvisation and also for mixing 
So APC is really cool. You can now also edit notes in sequences directly on the device. So this is pretty funny if you go here to shift and let's, for example, go here to the sequencer. It also works in a drum sequencer mode. You enter here, let's say we enter two notes. And what you now can do, if you keep that note pressed, you can use here the knobs up there, which already lit in their setting and state to change the notes. So the first one changes here the duration so you can make it longer maybe let's make the notes visible here so you can see them to here so now we see the notes so if i keep that pressed i can change here the duration of the note and if i use a second one i can change its velocity make it softer make it louder the next one changes the release velocity that one changes the gain of the note that one changes the panorama maybe let's see that let's play here the So you can here change the panorama as well for ex oh that's a gain you see it? the gain is getting softer let's change the panorama mix let's make that note to the left let's hear another note and make that one to the to the right in the panorama and here you can also change its pitch and you can also change the timbre which is depending on what it is mapped to here in this synth. So pretty, pretty helpful stuff. And as I said, you can do the same here in the other sequencer. If you go here to the drum sequencer, you can also here press the notes and have the same settings as in the other mode. So thanks for watching. That were all the new features in version 9. And if you like it, make some funky music.